Hi, these comments are for PL, and this is Michael from BetterTofelScores.com. Thank you for sending me your pretest for uh, <coughs> the vowel and consonant sounds of American English. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you went ahead and you went through uh, part A, and then you answered the questions in part B, and you told me a little bit about yourself. Man, let me get my notes here. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Okay, I've written down. I've written down some notes here that kind of reflect some areas that I want you to focus on. Okay, so in part A, based on your reading of those pairs of words, right, that, that basically cover all the consonant and vowel sounds of American English, you should study uh, lessons 9, 10, 13, 14, 19, 20, and 24. So I think that's going to be very good for you. So in addition, uh, I think that you need to focus, uh, well, as you do that, when you, each, each of the videos will have some sentences and some paragraph readings at the end, and I think that's definitely a good thing that you can practice as you go through those lessons. As you answered Part B, you talked about your educational background and your work history. You talked about you want to get into CMU University, which is your dream university, and it requires, my goodness, a score of 26 on the speaking section, which is why you joined my TOEFL speaking boot camp course. Am I right? So then you talked about those things. And the reason I have you answer those three questions, it, of course it gives me your background and your goals and what you want to do in my course, but it also gives me a chance to assess your overall speaking fluency and pronunciation for that matter. And I got good news for you, my friend. You have really strong speaking skills. You come from Thailand. Uh, a lot of students in Thailand, because of the first language, their first language, Thai, they don't pronounce final consonant sounds, medial, con medial consonant sounds. They have a lot of problems with tone. It's in all the wrong places. And wow, you have a lot of, of, a lot of experience with English. So, so based on that, your experience... I mean, I'm not going to give you too high of a score here. You, you do have some things you need to work on, as I just indicated, but I'm going to put you around 5.1. You have a barely detectable accent. Your pronunciation is very similar to a native speaker. You have a few isolated minor problems in there, but overall, you speak very fluently, so you're in great shape. So I think that your, your goal of getting 26, that is really a good goal. Your goal, really... It's not 26, your goal is 30. So let's do that. My goal is to help you get between 29 and 30 points on the TOEFL exam. That's what I wanna help you do. Okay, so the next step is begin reviewing the lessons I just outlined in this video, and then tomorrow send me your first speaking practice test. You can use TOEFL Practice Online, TPO, wherever you like to go to get those practice tests and send, send one of them. To me you can send me 60 seconds of speaking practice every 24 hours 60 seconds right and then I will give you feedback on that and let's see which areas you need to work on you might have some additional delivery issues that may come out as you send me practice tests I might discover some minor problems with uh, language use including vocabulary and grammar maybe you might have some topic development issues so as I get five or six practice tests from you over the next week, I will become more aware of exactly what your problem areas are, and I can suggest lessons in my online course to help address those weaknesses. And thank you for completing this practice test. I'm impressed. I'm, I'm impressed with your speaking skills. I really am.